Hello folks, my name's David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you today after the match as always to talk about Rangers' rather anemic performance in the 1-0 defeat at Parkhead this afternoon. We didn't play well, um, I thought we showed Celtic too much respect, I thought the opening at 10-15 minutes Celtic were kind of seeing what we were going to do but I think that the team just sat in far too deep, gave Celtic like I say too much respect and didn't play well, on top of that we defended very well. I thought that the the goalkeeper was magnificent. I thought that Goldson and Katic, again, were absolutely superb. But the midfield didn't get anything going whatsoever. In possession, they looked nervy. Um, didn't keep it well enough. Didn't try enough. Weren't ambitious. Weren't brave on the ball. And I do think that Thursday night was just a bit too much for them to then come into an old firm game. Not an excuse. Um, Celtic were the better side. End of story. And in the end, they deserved the victory. But... I'm not really ready to, to chuck the baby out of the bathwater just yet. I think that, yeah, it's disappointing and I'd hoped we'd be a bit better. But I think if you look at all things considered, it's probably a, a realistic appraisal of where we are at the moment. And we've overachieved so far this season with the European results. Underachieved slightly in the league, there's no doubt about that. But it's where we are in a month, I think, that's more important than where we are at the moment. But the game itself, as I say, Celtic began to assert a grip around about 15 minutes. And from there in, on in, in the first half, it was absolutely one-way traffic. Rangers just couldn't get out. Whenever we did get the ball out, it was a panicky clearance. We hit long a lot, which I didn't get. And I do think, you know, I'm very much on the Stevie G train I, I did think that sitting off them wasn't quite the right tactics we maybe um, decided to play it like a European away game and that that's okay as far as it goes but I think it just invited um, pressure a little bit and they hit the bar twice so we got a bit fortunate there Alan McGregor's made a great save he'd gone to make an absolutely world class one in the second but, uh, you know, at half time you're hopeful that um, we'll, we'll come out a little bit and realise that there's not really anything to fear here. Uh, unfortunately, it's maybe in doing that that uh, we, we lose a goal on the break from them. Um, a foul on Ryan Jack, it was a foul. Uh, it's as simple as that. But even so, I'm not going to say, oh, it's a foul and therefore we were robbed because I, th I think if there's a foul outside their box and you don't deal with it, in the remaining 80 yards you've got to kind of look at yourself for that one and uh, I thought Ajaria who was dead in his feet after 50 minutes and that is something the manager got wrong he should have hauled him off there was there was nothing in the tank there um, he should have taken one for the team pulled him down didn't Celtic broke scored and after that they sat back a little bit and tried to hit us in the break and we did get more possession and we were in their half more but we didn't really seriously threaten bar one really good opportunity at the end from Tav where he should have done a bit better and we might have nicked a point but it would have been nicking a point and there's no point uh, trying to to pretend that so where does that leave as well five points from nine eh, from 12 it's not not good enough, we know that, but there are extenuating circumstances. If you're one of the absolutists that just goes, no, we've got five points from nine, from 12, everything's a disaster, um, there's not a lot I can say to you because nothing's, nothing's going to calm you down on that front. For me, if you look at everything overall, where we are, where we are in 13 matches from where we were a while ago, then I think that we are progressing in the right way. Um, Celtic are still a good side. You know, they're going through a bit of a torrid time at the moment and hopefully uh, today's win will paper over the cracks for them a little bit and we'll be able to take advantage of it. But they're still a good side. They still have good players. I do think we showed them far too much respect. I really do. Um, I want to see us in the next Old Firm game really get in at them, really see what they can do when, when we're up against it. And hey, they might have enough then, but I'd like to see. I'd like to see us really have a go at them. But I think um, as we take a break now for the international break, you need to look at what's been achieved by Rangers. We were not going to overtake Celtic inside two months. It's unrealistic to expect that. Where we are at Christmas is going to be the real measuring point. Now, don't get me wrong, we've got four very winnable fixtures coming up, and if we weren't to win them, then yes, then questions are going to be asked. And if we're sitting in December, you know, nine, ten points behind them, then yes, questions are going to be asked. But we need to be patient, and I know that that's the most boring, horrible, crappy thing in the world to say because of all the shit that we've been through for the last few years. Patience is very much in short supply, but it, it doesn't alter the fact 
that we need to be realistic about where we are. Look at what the manager and the players have achieved in, in two months. Now, he's got time in the training ground with him, which we haven't had lately because of the schedule. He's got two new players added in, Worrell and Grejda. Uh, he'll have Koulibaly back, who he missed dreadfully today. Heart and hands on Lissana Koulibaly, I think, would have got a bit closer to them in midfield. And then we need to be braver. Our attitude needs to be better in these matches. We need to say, no, we're going to go up there and make sure that they know that they are in a game. We need to do more than just hang on and hope we can get them on the counter. We need players to be brave in possession, to take chances, to to make things happen rather than taking the easy option all the time. And if we can do that, we'll improve. Um, we can't control what happens over there at their midden. All we can control is how we are doing. And I think Rangers are moving in the right direction. I think that we've got a good manager. I thought he's summing up of the game today was spot on. And I think he will learn from it. And I know that we're impatient, but we need to give time time because that's that's the only thing that's going to do. And are we seeing gradual improvement throughout the season? Then it's a success. And you know what? We might not win the league next year, but we want to be in a position where we're challenging. And we want to be in a position that when we add in players next summer, because for the first time in a long time, it looks as though we won't need to add in 14 or 15 players in the summer, then we build again and we go again. The manager said when he took the job, he wanted a four-year contract, so it'll take four years to put us on top, or two months in. And I'm still massively confident about the future going forward. Somebody, a Celtic fan, tweeted me to say, oh, I, I, I thought you wanted us in the cup. I said, mate, I wish we were playing you on Wednesday. Um, at Ibrox, I'd love a go at you. On oh, our own patch, I think we need to beat them there and then that'll breed a bit of confidence for Parkhead. But uh, no, no, all this, the season's over and uh, uh, we're nowhere near. Bollocks. I mean, it really is. It's bollocks. So if that's the way you feel, then there's nothing I can say to you. But I think for calmer heads, once the disappointment fades, you'll realise that Rangers are very much on the up and up still. Um, we're playing Villarreal in, in a few weeks now. Um, Last season, that seemed a million miles away. So, uh, as Marvin Andrews would say, keep believing. But uh, also, Rangers, learn a little lesson. Aretha Franklin's gone. We don't need to give a little respect or far too much in this case to them. And I'm pretty confident that uh, Rangers are marching on in the right direction. Although today was, don't get me wrong, a right boot in the balls. If you like my little chats here, and I hope you do, you know, put a lot of effort into them, then you can uh, listen to more of us at Heart and Hand the Rangers podcast on uh, wherever you get your podcast twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. And you can also uh, get more from us every single day, up to five shows per day on the Heart and Hand Patreon site, which is patreon.com forward slash Heart and Hand. Thank you very much for listening to me. As I say, try not to get too disappointed tonight. And remember, no matter what, we are the people. Thanks very much for listening. Cheers. Bye.